Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So people ask me how do I haul my WeHoo and my fat bike and all that to go up mountain biking and do that kind of stuff. This actual carrier makes it kind of tough, but I'm going to show you how I do it right now. So this carrier is nice because it's the same uh, width as a bike. So it fits on here just fine. So what I do is I set that like that and I set that like that. So then I go around and I take this, I bring it up, I make sure it's right where it needs to be, and then I cinch it down just like that. Then I take a bungee cord, this one right here, and I take it on the other side of this and I, it hooks right around there. And then this comes back up and hooks just like that and that holds that on there solid. Then I take the fat bike and it won't fit in that tray but I put it the best I can like that then I set that like that and then once that's on there this barely comes up and I, I just try to jam that down there as far as it possibly can so that that fits in there just like that. Then this won't fit in this so I bring it back and I take a tie down like this and I make sure that I can pull this up. That's the main thing you got to make sure you do. And then I stick it through the tire just like this and then once it's through the tire I put this just like that and I start to pull that up and then I, I get this down to where it's right there and then I just cinch that as tight as I can. I make sure it's not on that spoke where I don't want it and then I I work that thing like crazy to make sure it's tight. Then I just take this up here like this and I put it around and I go through and I just secure it just like that. Then I put my other bikes, I just set them right on here like I could grab a road bike right now and uh, I'll show you. I just take it, no different than I would any other one of my bikes. take it up, set it there, and uh, I'm going to have to adjust a pedal obviously if I was to cinch it down there tight because it's hitting on that side, but that's easily adjusted. And then I would just mount this on there the exact same way, mount the next bike on, and I'm on my way to be able to have fun. I always mount these. I never mount them on top because the wind blows this way instead of this way on the tire. This fat bike, if you mounted it on the top and that kind of a deal, would end up on the roof of your car. So don't ever do that unless you've got a different way to mount it. Uh, just giving you a little bit of a heads up on that. Um, but this way, I've hauled this clear to Moab, Utah this way. I've hauled it all over the place. So good way to haul your stuff, get your kids involved, and take your fat bike uh, and make sure it's secure enough on the trailer that you can enjoy it. So hope you like that segment. Uh, Thule, thanks for the racks and you know, uh, thanks for creating a rack like this works really well for the stuff that we're doing. And Subaru, thanks for an amazing car. See ya.